We're back in Way of the Hunter on Matariki Park. I am OCG. Today we're doing a realistic hunt for some Samber deer. I hope you guys enjoy. Well, that's what we're after. I don't know why they're scampering off like that. I haven't even moved. <laughs> Interesting. I spooked them earlier. Trying to get into this woods, but that was way over there. I looped around this lake. Spooked them up here somewhere. They ran down into here. I looped all the way back around. And that's where I'm at now. Because of my wind. As you can see. It's going that way. Which you can also see here. So hopefully... I can find them again. What are they doing way up there? What is happening? Why are they running from me? I don't know if that's the same herd we just saw. If it is, they made it really far and really fast. He's probably a two or a three, but definitely not a five, I can tell you that much. Obviously, we want a five. I can't tell how old he is. He's too far away. And I also don't know if that's the same herd, so there could be another herd down here that I need to be careful of. I got a feeling getting a five-star Samber deer is gonna take a while. Because they're not easy to hunt. This guy up here is easy to hunt. I could take him right now. But if there's a herd down here, yeah. Good luck seeing him. Obviously, there's no caller. So you can't just call him in. It is not easy. You gotta be very, very slow. Which means it takes a lot of time. And when you don't have a lot of time, it kind of means you can only get so many kills. Well... Found the herd. Huh. Of course I spooked them. Man, how big is this herd? They're still coming out of the woods. Pretty big herd there. Nothing crazy. What are, what's happening? Are they multiplying while they run? I, I'm confused. That is a huge herd of Samber deer. Like, what is going on? You guys are still going. Well, at least they'll give me a good shot from here. <laughs> if if I can see anything I want to take. I don't even know how old these guys are yet. They're not in the greatest of lights either. You know what I think should be illegal in the United States? Actually should be illegal anywhere. Spam calls. Probably cost you more money... Just call the person, then you're getting back. It's ridiculous. Oh, wow, we're on that topic. Get rid of spammed mail from, like, in your mailbox. Aren't we supposed to be going green, yet we keep cutting down trees and sending out junk mail? I mean, really? Yep, that's helping the planet. Anyway, that guy's not bad. I just can't tell how old he is. The light is terrible. They all look the same right now. All of them. He's probably a three. Ugh, I gotta get closer. I can't I can't see what color they are, so I don't know how old they are. Give me it. Give it. Thank you. What are we looking at here for range anyway? 400 yards. That'd be one heck of a shot, boys. Just don't spook, please. Spook something there. Is that more? There's more! What is going on? How many Samber deer are there? Crazy nuts! Alright, let's get as close to the water we can. And staying within sight of these guys. Climb! Climb! What in the... Okay, well, you can do that, apparently. <laughs> is, is there some kind of benefit to actually sit in this thing, or can I just climb it like this? Wow, I didn't think I could do that. Okay, well, discovered something new, at least. I still can't tell how old these guys are, so we're probably just going to have to pick one and go with it. And he's looking pretty good right now. I would take 
that guy, I just don't think he's a five. So there's no point in taking him right now when he's got a chance to be something bigger. Uh, what are we looking at range? 360 maybe? Oh, 320, okay. I could probably take this shot. It's gonna be a little rough. There's no way you guys smell me, okay? Like, you're blowing into my wind. He's got potential. So does he. Alright, well... Let's see what happens, shall we? Pretty sure that was a long shot. Yes, buddy! Let's go! Now, how do I get down from here? Guess like that. Aha! There's some more. And that guy looks pretty big. This is why you always take a look around. E even if you don't know where a zone is, just look. Because you just never know what you're gonna see. He's pretty old. That's a really long shot. Like, that's a long shot right there. Whew. I don't know if I can hit that one. It gives me a good shot. We'll try it. I might have to prone for this, though. Don't think I can see him. Oh, yeah, I can. I could take that right there. Oh, man, it's a long shot. I have no idea. Don't think I hit him. Well, there's a guy over there we're going to try to take. First, we got to pick this other guy up, though. Oh, hi. You're lopsided. Probably the same herd, but there's a chance he's not. Red deer. Not what we're after today. Follow the blood! The guy probably won't make it very far. And there he is. Yeah, he died right there. That's good. More! There are Samber deer everywhere. Ooh. wonder if that was the herd. That might have been the herd. Because that looked like a pretty big guy there. Alright. What do we got, buddy? I'm going to say you're like a two-star. I don't even know if you're mature, to be honest. Mature. Two-star. 44%. Good to take out. Would not have made it much further than that. Obviously, just a sell. I'm starting to think that the best method to get Samber deer is to spook them. Because most of the time, they're going to be in these thick woods. Uh, is that a Samber deer? Or is that a Sika? It's got to be a Sika, right? This guy's not bad. I'm going to say you're a three. Oh, you're a two star. 62% mature. Meh. Yeah. Just sell. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, they're in the woods, so they're really hard to hunt. So if you can spook them out of the woods into an open area, like up on this mountain or where I'm at now, you got a really good chance at being able to take one out. I'm going to go check out uh, that herd we saw over there and see if we can see that big guy in there. All right, here's the question. Can we find them again? It's going to be easier said than done. I think I took the shot at him over that way somewhere. They're probably in the woods down there. I'm never going to be able to see them from here. We're going to get up on top of this mountain slash hill and look down into the woods and see if we can see them from there. My wind's going that way, so that's the main reason I need to do it this way. Something is right below me. Now, I did spook a single Samber deer from over there. And it ran this way, so it's probably that. But it's also possible that it's the herd that we're looking for. The problem with just hearing twig snaps is you don't know what it is. What is that? 
Is that a Samber? Or is that a Sika? Shoot. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard it enough. We're gonna we're gonna assume. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're gonna assume <laughs> that uh it's a Samber deer. So we're gonna play this carefully. Move, bushes! You got really sharp thorns and big ones. These look like fire thorn trees. Maybe that's what they are, I don't know. If they are, let me know. I have actually been stabbed in the knuckle with a fire thorn tree's thorn. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. And yeah, I can't bend my my finger like I used to anymore. It went right through my knuckle. Kind of sucked. It also hurt a lot. My entire arm went numb after that happened. The story behind why, how it happened was my sister had goats at the time. And they were in the process of moving, so they didn't have any goat feed. So we were just going to get some, you know, vegetation. And we were going to feed feed the goats that way. So I was out there pulling off some branches to feed them the leaves and stuff. I, I don't know what goats eat. They, they ate it, so they enjoyed it, I guess. So I was pulling it off, and I didn't know what tree it was. I didn't even see any thorns in the first place. So I reached up to grab a, a limb, and as soon as I did, it went right into my knuckle. And man, did it hurt. I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm not going to talk here, but I'm going to record. And it's just going to be me searching for these guys. I want to see if you guys want to watch just me searching. It's very boring. But I know some of you guys like to be immersed in the, in the game. And this would be immersive, because it's the whole hunt, actually. Super close. Definitely over there. Man, I wish I could get eyes on these guys. Without spooking them, obviously. See squat. They're probably down there in that dip. Man, it's gonna be tough to see. Are there multiples, or are they just in the same herd and spread out a little bit? And this is where you just kind of have to wait and let them calm down and then move in some more. The only problem is when you're doing this, they're also moving at the same time. Because once they know something's up, they don't stay still. At least what I have seen 
so far in the game where if you're stalking on a herd and they know, like they give you a warning call, like that was, I'm pretty sure, they're not going to stay where they were. They're probably going to walk around a little bit, which means you're kind of chasing them at that point. And you'll probably never catch them. Man, they're super close. We're probably going to have to prone our way in. Wind's still good. Boys, they're really close. Okay. Proning our way in. Can I see anything? That would be a no. If I can get close enough and they don't see me, we'll try to take one with a bow. But I got a feeling I'm not going to be able to because I'm probably going to have to take a shot as soon as I see one. They're in a really bad spot. <laughs> I think they might be down in there. Might be better if I went around this way, but to they now. Eating another to my right. Is 
So they're just spread out. I really wish I could see these guys. Just can't. We gotta be super careful. Can't smell me, my wind's fine. It's just gotta be they hear me. See, in this situation, the best option would have been just to spook them out. And hope they go into an open spot. Man, I wish they were right there. Yep, it would have been better if I went this way. But, I didn't know at the time where they were. I mean, technically I still don't know where they're at, but you know what I mean. Come on, I just need to get eyes on. Hoping I could see through there, but nope. I 
Hunting Samber Deer is not gonna be easy. I see him. No, I scrolled. Stop it. Stop. Stop moving. Oh my gosh. I could have just ruined the whole hunt there. Because the game decided I was still going to move while I was scrolling through my weapons. How you doing? Are you big? Small? Tiny? I don't know. At least they don't suspect anything because they're still just sitting there. So there's some in front of me and some to my right. Hmm. Which one did we take a shot at before? Probably the one in the front. Because he looks oldest. Can't see them through this section. Slow and steady wins the race, boys. Slow and steady wins the race. If I can get down here, I might be able to look across. Just gotta be really careful. Is that a Samber? Or is that a Sika? Because they sound like two different things. Don't you dare spook right now. Oh, ho, 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 if you spook, I'm going to be so mad. I spent like, what, 10 minutes so far trying to find these guys? Hoping if I can get right there, I might be able to see into, a, into the woods and see them. I hope. They're probably moved already from where they're sitting. From where they were sitting. So I might not see them at all. Which would be terrible. But it also confirms, though, if that is the case, it also confirms what I said earlier, where they're probably just going to keep moving away from me. You know, I've said this in the past. It's like I move 10 yards, they move 50. That is usually how it goes. Dang it. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. We're almost there. Stop it. Stop.
Man, I can't see them. I mean, I can see one. I know they're there. I just can't confirm what it is. Male, female, big, small. I have no clue. I hear somebody walking. Somebody. I hear a deer or something walking. This is what it sounds like. Very, very faint. Well, there's a male. He is young because he's gray. Man, I need to find that one we took a shot at. He's in here. Somewhere. I just know it. That's a female. Man. Okay, there's some that are really close. I've got I've got to take that guy. The guy we took the shot at from 600 yards, I've got to take him. He's in here. I just know it. Red deer seem to be closer. I could sit here and play the waiting game. And just wait to see if he steps out. But at the same time, he could step out anywhere. And I would have no clue. Unless it's the spot I'm looking at. I think we're just going to keep working closer. And maybe we'll get eyes on him. But we're really close, so we're going to have to take this very slow. Is that him right there? I think that might be him. He's not a four. He's not even a five. I know that for sure. He's not bad, though. He's old. I just want confirmation that that is him. It's gotta be. I think we take this. I don't think we have much choice. It's gotta be him. Alright. He missed his head, he's dead. He's dead. That's a hard shot. Oh, really?
Oh. <laughs> That's great. That was great. Oh my gosh. Pretty sure I killed two of those females. The last one, though, I was not expecting. Because I only saw two charging me. So it's like, okay, I got both of them. We're good. Turn around. You're dead. Of course. Of course I am. Long way to go. Okay, they're in here somewhere. Oh, I see blood. Okay. Let's see here. There's the first female I shot. I didn't think that was a good shot, but I guess it was. Looks like she ran this way. It wasn't like a crazy good shot, but it was a kill shot. I didn't get a look to see if he actually died from that really quickly or not. So I don't know if it was a hard shot or not. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. That's where things get tough, isn't it? Where'd the last blood go? Lost it! There it is. I'm sitting right on top of it. Where'd you go, Cotton-Eyed Joe? Shoot. Must have been where I shot the mill. She had to have turned. It's just a matter of where did she turn. Doesn't look like this way. Had to have turned... Over here somewhere. Yeah, boy. Well, I know it's a kill shot because it's pink blood. I don't know if that's her, but I see one down here. I don't know what happened to this blood trail. It just disappeared. I think this is the second one I shot. It might be the first one I shot. Based on its location, I think it's the f second one I shot. Got a blood trail leading to it? Yep. So, that was the second one I shot. Right in the lungs. Partially in the heart, too. Pretty good shot. Obviously, you know, just so. This is the male, so I guess we'll stay on him for now. Wasn't a heart shot, then, because he wouldn't have made it this far. I don't think this male is going to be anything crazy big. I think he might be a three if I'm lucky. If we're lucky. And I'm not very lucky. So, probably a two then. Let's take a turn. Hmm. Interesting. Had to have turned somewhere. This guy's blood disappeared too. Is this a bug? Like if you die while they were still alive? Or after? I don't know, because he could have died or he's still alive when I died. And you come back, is their body disappeared? Because there's nothing here. I have looked in every possible direction. No more blood. Not even a body to find. <laughs> Please don't tell me this is a bug. And I just wasted 40 minutes of my life. I just did like 20 loops, expanding outward as I went to see if I could find the body or any kind of more blood trail. Nothing. Doesn't exist. Pretty sure that was a bug, and that really sucks. Just imagine if that was a 5. It wasn't. 
But imagine if that was a five star. And you just took it out. A female charged you. You died. You came back. Your five stars is gone. Can you imagine that? I know what happened in the past. Like, you'd shoot an animal and it'd just disappear. Looks like it's back. So, we're gonna chalk that up to a bug. We lost a female and a male. That sucks. So bad. That's gonna be it for this episode, though. I am out of time. If you guys wanna see more videos like this one, check out these videos right here. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please head down and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I like to hear from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a fantastic day. OCG out.